My name is Stephen Forster and I'm from the National Training Standards e Crime Team and obviously we've come to support the Stay Safe campaign. I'm the National Communications Officer and um, the reason we're here in the main is because obviously we do see an awful lot of people, uh, elderly people, who are targeted by scammers and uh, we want to do anything we can basically to stop that from happening. So working with uh, agencies and charities like Stay Safe is, is very important to us and obviously it's very important for elderly people too. Oh, um, there are so many. Um, where I'm based in North Yorkshire, we're working out of a, we're a national team, but we're hosted by North Yorkshire County Council and the local trading standards office that we're based in, they see an awful lot of doorstep crime, you know, physical crime on the doorstep. Um, online, it could be anything from uh, courier fraud up to the copycat website problem where you know, people were applying for their passports or for driving licenses online or to renew their passport and renew their driving licenses and they were ending up uh, sort of being delivered to a sort of a fake website that looks like the official government site and um, you know they were losing almost twice as much money as they should have been paying in the end so uh, we, we investigated some of the biggest operators in that field and I'm glad to say that we've taken two of them down and in fact the chap who was operating the biggest has just been jailed for 15 years so uh, the judge who oversaw those trials was very clear about um, sending a message to him that you know he wanted the internet to be safe particularly for elderly people and um, of course they are yeah yeah so you know his sentencing it was severe I mean you know at the end of the day this chap could have probably got less for murder but the judge took a very dim view of what he did and uh, put him away for 15 years no messing about Telephone scams, yeah, obviously the other thing we did was we got the first ever conviction on the Microsoft scam, which is the one where, I mean, the police call it computer service fraud, but it's basically they're pretending to be Microsoft, they ring you up, and they say there's a problem with your computer, and really they just want access to your computer, and or they want to get hold of your payment details, and they'll take about 60 to hundreds of pounds from, from a person who is... Uh, not aware that you know that they that they don't need that service from them. In fact, because obviously Microsoft don't really uh, ring people up and say there's a problem with their computers. It's only scammers who do that.